Hi everyone. So today we're going to do another bloom. Um, if you watched video 500, uh, my mixing recipe is there. And that is the recipe we're using on this one today. Um, we are going to be doing some more videos with different recipes. But I want to try to uh, use up some of the stuff that I already have mixed. So today we are using the primary elements. These are beautiful colors. Uh, they all have um, a beautiful iridescent to them. So they just shine gorgeous. Uh, this one, that was Stargazer. This one is Boysenberry. Absolutely beautiful colors. This is the Jasper Red. I did get quite a few bubbles in there mixing that, but that's okay. And like I said, just tap them on the bottom to bring the bubbles up and that way you don't have so many bubbles in them. And then this is the Mango Freeze. So pretty. All right, so I like to use the Velspar 2000. Uh, this one is a satin interior house paint. So I like to use about a little shy of a half a cup to scoop. Get myself a really nice puddle there. Don't be afraid to use it. That's what's that's your secret there. <laughs> Give a couple bubbles. And I always have a skewer on hand because you're going to be popping air bubbles as you go along. You don't want them to come up through um, when you're blowing. So we're going to go ahead and start with that mango freeze. I like a nice big dollop to start with. And it, it's fine if you want to use a lot. The more color, the better, actually. And then we'll do our Jasper Red. These are a little chilly since my studio is a little chilly this morning. Boysenberry. The color combinations that you can do on these is endless. Oh, there's so many primary element colors, plus you can use your paints as well. And we'll get into that mixing recipe um, in a future video. And we're still going to be doing our um, acrylic pours. I did get a little bit there, but that's okay because we're going to stretch that out anyways. And then this is my cell activator. This is just Amsterdam Titanium White mixed with um, Floetrol from Australia. So it is a little more expensive, but we'll have videos with different um, cell activators as well. So I'm going to go ahead and get a good dollop of that on there. that side. I see a couple bubbles that I want to get before I blow. I think that's it. There's one. Okay. Let's see if I wouldn't have popped that. Would have been a big yellow spot when I blew. Okay, let's blow. I'm not a really good blower, but if you get the right cell activator, anything will work for you. this spot right here yet. And then you want to let it set. Let everything come back to the middle. And while that's setting, I'll show you the last one we did. It's dry. 
So this is video 500. It's all dry. Um, the green did stain the white, but I'm not minding that at all. It's really pretty. And the sheen on that is gorgeous. And I will probably resin all of these. Okay. So it looks like we're about ready. So I'm going to go ahead and come this way first. Now your house paint is very thick. It's a total different consistency than paint pouring, so you have to just be patient. Your first corner you can usually tilt pretty quick, but after that it's a lot of stretching. I just love blending color. You get some great effects with different colors. I'm just going to take the tip of that one off. Because I want to keep some of that color there. I want to always bring it back to the middle so that all that flows together. Okay, then I'm going to come this way. And if, if this is the first time you're watching me, go ahead and click that subscribe button. I've got tons of videos. I have over 600 videos on my channel of different techniques, um, different types of acrylic pouring. But we're always game to try new things. And these blooms that Shelly Carruthers has so graciously shared her um, technique with us. Um, we did take the course, so we learned a lot from taking the course, and I always suggest everyone take the course. Um, you'll get 15% off if you use the code below in my description box. She goes way in depth of different things that you can do, and um, multiple blooms on bigger paintings. It's definitely something that um, I suggest everyone learn how to do. It definitely teaches you densities of paint. You learn so much when you try a new technique. So I'm going to hard tilt this to see if I can get it to move a little quicker. When I say hard tilt, it's usually straight up. <laughs> And you will get a little wonky, but when you bring it back, it should straighten itself out. I just want to get that one Jasper Red over the edge. Whoops, a little bit more. There we go. So now when I bring it back, we should straighten out better. My sides are all taped off because these are birch boards, so I'm not worried about getting my sides covered. Just the top. My thing is that center. I just love the look of that. And you can see it's starting to blend back in together. My paint is very cold. I can feel it on my fingers. <laughs> so I'm going to move it just a smidge. But I'm happy with it right there. I can give you a close-up. You can get some beautiful cells going in there. I just love this technique. It's so fun. It also can be um, very disappointing when you blow and blow and blow and you get no cells. <laughs> I've had quite a few of those that we've scraped. But I think I'm going to leave that right there, guys. I'm happy with that. I'm 
of course we do have a little flocculation <laughs> um, we'll go over that in another video because I think with other recipes um, different paints and um, mixing will make that go away I didn't get it on any of my other ones so but I don't want to give up on the primary elements I may be mixing them wrong I'm definitely going to try them with the vivid enamel and see if that makes a difference but um, the colors are just absolutely gorgeous and I definitely want to try them all so we'll leave that right there so thanks so much for watching check out all the links below um, if you haven't taken the course yet take that discount code and run with it uh, also join us every Monday night we are live at 9 p.m. right here on the channel we just did our six hour pour-a-thon on New Year's Eve we had a blast um, also shop with me on Amazon for all your paint pouring supplies a lot of this stuff you can get on Amazon as well um, I do have trays and pads and all kinds of things in my Amazon shop that you need for paint pouring um, if you're just doing this technique um, I believe I have the Josana varnish in there um, as well as the wood conditioner for um, the cell activator uh, the Aussie flow trial you can probably pick that up on eBay or through the art shed um, website so that's gonna be it for this give me a thumbs up if you can Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you all on the next one. Bye now.